Hello, it is Serum. Ooh, a bag. Um, I am back on Seven Days to Die. And I ended up going back. Oh, I didn't want to take that. I want to eat it. I feel like I need these parts, but I just don't have room for it. Yeah. Um, I'll make a new knife. Oh, I hear something. Okay. So, I'm back in the original town. I came back here to loot the bookstore. And I needed a, um, what is it, the steel book. I can't think of the name of the steel book. Um, but it ended up, I came here, and I was looking through, and I found it. So, I now know how to make steel. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome. I'm very excited about that. And now I'm going to try to run back. I have a full inventory. I do want to swing by my old house, which I believe is just up here. Um, I believe it's that. Yeah. And, oh, I need a drink. I have not been paying attention to that. Drink. Alright. I got a bunch of beer. Found that, too, while I was digging around. I'm going to try to save it. But we're going to head back, and then uh, by the time I get back, it'll probably be about night. But first, I want to swing by the old house. Just see if I have anything important I left behind. Because I need a beaker. I haven't been able to find another one since. Uh, actually, speaking of that... I already have that. Uh, I feel like I'm being followed. Oh, that's right. I also found this purple axe, which is awesome. Actually, no, I had the purple axe. <laughs> I also found this purple uh, pick, which is awesome. I uh, have been looking for one of those for a while. Let's see, and this gun, too. And I made a purple shotgun. Let's see if she has... Nope. Boy, where are all these zombies coming from? Okay. I gotta make this quick. I'm wasting time here. Okay. I already have that? I don't have that, I don't believe. Nope. And I already have that. Okay. Yeah, broken pistol. Okay, I wanted to come back for this, but I already have one that's better. Found it along the way. Oh, there's food here. I don't have room for food, and I'd just be hunted. I got enough food at home. Don't suppose... No. Uh. Alright. Well, I don't see an extra one. Let me double check, because I wasn't really looking either. I guess I'll just have to wait for a nurse to drop one. I kind of want those rocket launcher parts, too, because now I have a... Well, that's... I don't need to make another one. Besides, I don't have a book for it. I will take that. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. 
How did I get out of here last time if I sealed up the exit? I am really confused by that. Did I have another door? <clears throat> that? How did that... It just occurred to me. I don't know how I managed to do that. <laughs> oh, I'm heading the wrong way. Alright, I'm going to have to stop uh, checking everything when I head home. If I want to make it in time, so off we go. I hear a lot of footsteps. Um, this is a huge ravine. I was trying to get out of here. Are those dead zombies down there? Oh, those are just bodies. Okay. Um, I was trying to head home, and I ended up like finding that ravine and got stuck there. All right. Thanks. Okay. Now my gun is blue. Alright, um, I actually made much better time. I only stopped to uh, check that one backpack where I found the gun part. And so, yeah, I made it back with plenty of time. Last, you know, both times I've made this trip, you know, here and the, this one back, um, it ended up taking me a lot longer because I would stop to do other things. So I am home, but first I want to show you what I've been working on. Hopefully it's still standing. Looks like it is. <laughs> I always get a little worried. Looks like the zombies are coming back. It's the it's day two after the last horde, seven-day horde. And so yesterday was really quiet, but today it's there's zombies everywhere. They're starting to come back. So I'm working on my new home. Um, let's put a few things in here. Let's put that in there. We'll put that. And I think that's probably it for now. Might I uh, like to keep a couple beers on me. Let's put that in there. Um, <clears throat> all right. I'm going to take that because I'm going to do some work on this. <clears throat> so I came back with some new tools and weapons, which is good. And so the plan for this, while I'm thinking of it, is... I'll be living here, and then there'll be, like, basement stuff, too. And eventually it'll all be lined with concrete. And I'm going to put a pit around this with spikes. And then as the zombies fall in, I can go downstairs and kill them and loot them that way. In theory, that should work. We'll see how it goes. I've seen other people use that design. It looks like it works, but um, I'm a little skeptical because I think as the zombies fall in, you know, certain zombies like cops and dogs will probably end up doing a lot of damage to the building. But uh, I think that'll, in the long run, be safer than being up here. Because eventually their zombies are going to come through this place and just it's going to come toppling down and I'll lose everything. And this is still still going. Um, I'm basically just making lots of concrete, making the mix. Ooh, 101, all right. Let's see. Let's get some stuff organized here. Oh yeah, I have this, I can now make, uh, I think this one's the better one of the two. I now have the missing part. <laughs> Boy, that one doesn't look very good. It does have a purple handle. Is that a brown? Okay, this one's the better of the two. Alright, the blue magnum. Awesome. 
So I can now make steel, because I need a steel pick. Um, because, well, now I have the purple pick, which I found along the way. But I wanted to make a steel pick, because so, they tend to be a little bit faster than the uh, iron ones. But then I found this purple iron one, so I'll probably use that first. Um, let's put this back. Where did I have... Oh, yeah, it's... There's the other one. The backup one I gotta finish. <clears throat> and then I can also work on my hunting rifle. I'm not sure where this one's at. Oh, yeah. Better parts there. And there, yeah, this can... I have to keep wanting to grab it there. So, let's put that. And that's going to be a purple hunting rifle. Awesome. Very nice. Almost perfect. Well, I only used that for... I also found one 7.62 bullet while I was out, but... <laughs> didn't seem worth grabbing when I had the full inventory. I will hang on to these parts because I have almost enough to make and I actually did find another stock. I could have made a backup hunting rifle. I like to try to have two of every weapon just so I have some backups in case I die and lose one or lose one some other way. Um, I got this purple reinforced iron club to replace the wooden club which I didn't realize I had already had a purple backup one. Uh, I got two purple sho shovels now. Oh, three of those, wow. Okay, I'm doing good on shovels. I probably could have scrapped one. Although shovels, you know, I can't make anywhere near perfect, so it might be good to have as many of those as I can. Shovels will come in handy here pretty soon. Got the purple wrench. Of course, I got the purple fire axe that's about to be repaired, so it won't be perfect anymore. And the purple shotgun! Alright. I'm feeling good with purpleness. Uh, wrong one. Why did I just open that one again? Let's see, there was something... Duct tape. So yeah, I might start making the mini bike here soon. I'd kind of like to wait, though, until I can find that beaker. It's really frustrating. I haven't found one in a while. And it's almost night time. Let's close the door. Well, uh, this one's not as eventful of a, sh as a of a episode, but I just wanted to uh, kind of just show where I'm at on this and then go from there. And I was hoping maybe something eventful would happen on the way back, but it didn't. It was an uneventful trip on an uneventful series. Uh, again, apologize. I'm still can't seem to fix the recording issue, so it's kind of grainy. Um, I don't know. It's frustrating. But I'm not going to get into that again. But I will see you next time. Bye.